Welcome to the Stanford Daily's exclusive interview with Roy Yuan, a member of the Stanford men's basketball team. Roy, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? Hi, I'm Roy. I'm from San Jose. I also study computer science. But Roy is more than just a CS major. In the most recent matchup between the Stanford Cardinal and the USC Trojan, Roy had a cold dagger over Bronny James Jr., a highly talented prospect and the son of legendary basketball player LeBron James. The video of the shot has been making rounds across social media platforms, garnering thousands of views. In this episode, I sit down with Roy to chat about his soup's journey and eat some problems. Let's let's get right into it, Roy. So tell us about your story. I mean, you're a member of the basketball team, but how how did that come to be? Yeah, I came to Stanford, wanted to play basketball here, wasn't recruited, but um, yeah, I, I transferred here after my freshman year. Why don't we start from high school? So, so, so what was the process uh, like right out of high school? Were you trying to get recruited? Were you recruited? I was recruited, but not from like not by Stanford. I was recruited more from like D three and like less um, like not high major D one schools, like schools that you've uh, most likely probably never heard of. Mm. For me, um, like the one school that people might know that offered me was MIT. Oh shoot! But um, MIT like with D three, it's um. Uh, there's never like a guaranteed admission, and I right. kind of like growing up in the barrier. I kind of just wanted to go, go to Stanford for a long time, so I was like, might as well. So I kind of turned down the MIT offer oh, to goodness. apply to Stanford, got rejected, and then thought, you know, like I'll try to transfer here, and then um, I applied again just uh, just because I wanted to write better essays, and uh, <laughs> you know, when I got in, I was actually kind of surprised, so I didn't really. Um, so where yeah, did you go to college really uh, the first year of it? I went to Washington. Oh, did you play basketball there? I did not play basketball there because okay. I was trying to transfer out. And tell us about what happened afterwards. So you transferred, you, you don't have a roster spot, right? Yeah. So what happened? You became the manager, I heard. I became a manager after the first year mm. just because of COVID and everything. And yeah, as a manager, there were like some opportunities to kind of like play pickup with the guys and right. have them like vouch for you. Managing is tough. I respect <laughs> I respect our managers a lot. You know, you're yeah. you're giving up your your free time to go right. essentially like rebound for people, like get water for them, yeah. wipe up their sweat. So you were ma- a manager for how long? I was a manager for a year. A year, and then you got the call up, right? I got the call up, but I was pretty persistent about it too. I think I I mean I was I mean if you ever talked to our coach about it, I mean I was basically spamming him every week. All right, before we go any further, let's um, dive into these wings. So we have some hot sauce and some treehouse wings. Um, I don't know how good your spice tolerance is, but let's, why don't we test that out? Oh, sh- oh whoops. You're going out here. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Turning up the heat. Is that too much? No, that's good. All right, let's try this out. All right, cheers. Okay, that's kind of. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Wow, I have a good spice tolerance, but that's that's another level. It's pretty good, right? Let's let's dive into what's been on everyone's mind. I'm sure the shot. I mean, you've been a bit of an internet sensation as of late, hitting that huge, huge three over Bronny James Jr. What goes through that? What happened there? Yeah, I mean, going in the game, it's like, like Bronny James, he's a great player, you know, mm. a little bit intimidating, you know, given that he's a, he's an All-American, he was top 20 in the country, right. a lot of accolades, you know, and for myself, I was on range. <laughs> um, so who had the ball? Who was the ball carrier? I think Benning had the ball. Okay. Gave it to me, mm-hmm. probably wanted to let me do something, mm-hmm. but, you know, I was like near half court. Brownie was coming towards me, so I was like, yeah, there's no way, like, there's no way I'm about to dribble off my foot, <laughs> turn it over, and have him go for, like, a dunk on the other end, right? Mm. So I just pass the ball back. And then I ran to the corner, since that's what I usually do. Favorite spot. And then, yeah, I guess Brownie helped in a little bit, just a little bit too much. So then I was able to get the shot off. I, um, yeah, I probably used, used up 10 years worth of good luck for that shot to go in, but... What happened to your hand, Roy? You, you hit that shot uh, like two days ago and now you're in the cost. So my hand... Well, the day after the USC game, 
I went to play basketball with my friends. Well, I was training. I was training with my friends, mm. right? And um, I ran my finger into 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 their chest because I was playing because I was playing defense, and I won't be playing defense again anytime soon. How's your coach feel about that? My coach actually, I don't think he knows yet. He's about to, he's about to find out tomorrow. You must have a lot of fans, right, Roy? A lot of fans from because you grew up in the area. You must have a lot of fans who come to your games. Tell us about you know some of these fan interactions. What has been like, let's say the the best fan interaction and some like perhaps like the the weirdest. Mm. I think any time like someone comes to a game, like whether it's for me or not. It's always like a great experience because they're coming to watch the team play. But then if they're, I guess like if they're here for me, which I don't know why, given that I play, I, I rarely play, I, I don't know, it means a lot. I always try to, like if they want like a picture or whatever, I always try to try to get to them, you know, no matter how many people there are. Usually there's not too many, so it's manageable. I mean, after the USC game, I signed a few people's arms, so that was a little weird. Some kid asked me for my. Some kid asked me for my undershirt. Also caught me off guard. Did you give it to them? I, I gave it to him. Wow. I asked him. I asked him three times if he wanted it. And he he said yes every time. So <laughs> gotta give the fans what they want, I guess. I hope he doesn't wear that undershirt ever, <laughs> without washing it at least. How's it feel being an Asian American hooper? What, what what are some of the experiences that come with that? It's cool. Um, sometimes I have trouble getting on the court because the security doesn't, they don't believe I'm a player, even though I'm in full uniform. Other times it's, uh... Are you serious? I haven't wanted at UIC and I was like, I was like, come on, bro. <laughs> I was like, I got, I, got, I, got, I got the, I got the full gear on. I was like, I was, I was like, I was like, come on now. Happened a few times in high school, but... Do you feel like a campus set everything up? No, not really. I think there's a lot of people on campus doing much cooler things than I am, so not really. I feel like just a regular student. Is there anything you want Stanford students to know about you? Um, I study computer science. <laughs>